Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and also welcome to this course Object Oriented Programming using Java. Myself Tanvi Rahman and in this tutorial I am going to explain about how we can implement the concept of association classes in Java. So first of all let me tell you that sometimes we need an additional class to clarify the relationship in between the classifiers properly. Like let us think about this example. A person X owns n shares of company Y. So how can we do that? We are storing the information of person inside the person class. We are storing the information of the company inside the company class. And then where should I put that uh, which person is buying how many shares of which company. So in order to solve such kind of problems we need the concept of association classes. So now I want to show you that how we can implement these concepts in Java. So in order to do that I am going to Eclipse and then I want to create a new project and I am going to name it as uh, association association class app and then inside association class app I want to uh, create a new package inside the source package and I want to I am going to name it as association class then app inside association class app I am going to create those three classes which was person then company and then owns owns so firstly inside the company class I want to uh, provide the fields of company like firstly uh, I want to provide the public string ID of the company then public string name of the company and then public uh, string address of the company so the, that is the end of company class now I am going to the person class and I am going to um, provide the fields of a person like public uh, string SS, SSN and then uh, public uh, string what about name then public string public string contact then public string email okay now now I'm going to the uh, owns class and there will be the relationship class which will be maintaining the relationship in between the person and the company so we need uh, both of them so protected person a person and then protected company a company and then uh, we need protected uh, int number of shares uh, we uh, want to create uh, I want to create a constructor here so public owns and inside the constructor I need and the uh, so object of person so person P then company C and then int number which means how many shares and then I'm going to initialize uh, the uh, fields of the class so this dot a person is equals to P which will be coming from the user when they will be creating the object of owns class and then this dot a company is equals to C and then this dot this dot number of shares number of of shares will become number okay so that is the uh, uh, comp that is the owns class now I'm going to the person class and there I need something called uh, there will be a list of uh, investments let's say uh, so I uh, want to create a private list private list then I'm going to import it java.util.list and then I'm going to uh, define the data type of the list to be owns and then I'm going to name it as investments investments is equals to new I'm going to initialize to array list sorry 
going to initialize it as array list so array list and java.util.array list is also imported so there will be no error so now uh, I'm going to provide some function like public void buy shares and inside buy shares uh, I need uh, for which company so company C and how many shares so int number and then inside the buy shares uh, function I want to create an object of owns class so own is equals to new own then uh, for the person uh, for the person I'm going to uh, pass this keyword which means this this class and then uh, the company C I will be passing that C and the number so uh, by writing that I'm creating ob creating an object of the owns class and now I'm going to add these owns in inside the investment list so investments dot add I want to in uh, add an own to the investments list okay so as it is private I also want a public getter method so public it will be returning list uh, of owns and I'm going to name the function as get shares and which will return this dot investments fine so in order to uh, show you the functionality of this association class uh, let me create and let me create another class uh, and for which class there will be a public method so I'm going to name it as program class inside program class firstly I need to create an object of a person so person a person is equals to is equals to new person then uh, a person dot name is equals to let's say Smith and then uh, I'm going to create an object of a company so company company one is equals to new company and I'm going to name this company one sorry I'm going to name this sorry this is a little bit of typing mistake so company one dot name is equals to let's say ABC uh, now I want to uh, I want something that Smith uh, wants to buy five shares of company ABC then what can I do then inside a person class we had a function called buy share so I'm going to call that so a person dot buy shares then I'm going to pass the name of the company or the object of the company which was company one and I'm going to uh, provide the number of shares which means five so by writing that we can say that Smith is going to buy five shares of company one now I want some more companies so company company two is equals to new company and then company two dot let's say the name of the company two is XYZ okay so uh, and I'm going to say that uh, Smith is going to buy 10 shares of company XYZ so what can I do so a person dot buy shares then company 2 and the share will be 10 now uh, if I want to print these two lines by uh, getting the investments of the person class what can we do so I need I need a for each loop for that so for each and uh, it will be coming from a person dot get shares and the type will be definitely owns so owns and here the object of owns will be uh, <coughs> what should I say investment investment okay so then I am going to print as system system dot out dot print line then I should say investment dot person a person dot name 
uh, then I am concatenating has then again I am putting the plus keyword and I am concatenating person has or not has owns owns how much shares okay so then I want to put investment dot number of shares plus then again inverted comma which means uh, strings uh, number of shares shares of then the name of the company so investment dot a company dot name plus then again inverted comma company then what will happen so, so if, if I run this project so it will show me that Smith owns five shares of ABC company and Smith owns 10 shares of XYZ company so that is how we implement the concept of association classes in Java so thank you for watching this is Tanvi Rahman signing out